Welcome to the Geotechnical Solutions Brief Overview of GeoJob Plus Core. In this video, I'll demonstrate the basic capabilities of GeoJob Plus, which lives on your desktop or laptop machines. When we open GeoJob Plus Core, we're brought to the start page. Here we have useful links in the middle with training videos, a quick start guide, as well as news and updates. The menu tab at the top allows us to create new projects, manage existing projects, activate and deactivate serial numbers, as well as tools and help. To begin, we'll start with the New Project tab, and we'll name our project. The project will be saved in this location here, and if we have any existing templates, we can use those. This brings us into our process. On the left-hand side, we have our tabs in sequential order, walking us through processing our photos and creating our reports and then ultimately our output. So import photos, go ahead and navigate to the location of our photographs. In this case I'll go ahead and select all these four, bring them in, and now they're ready for processing. We'll go to the geotag tab. If our photos did not have GPS location information that would be annotated here. In this case 100% or four of our photos do have GPS location information. If they did not, we go to the geotag wizard. So moving on to the attribute editor, if we select any of our photos, we'll see the metadata that was collected when we took the photograph. We can also go to the map to see the location of our photographs. We can zoom in, and if we want to edit any one of our photos, we can go ahead and allow the edit, which allows us to move that photograph if it's not in the correct location, or change the heading on that photograph. Go ahead and turn that off and it's now saved and that information will be saved to the attribute data as well. Moving on to the photo editor, this is where we can whiteboard on our photo. We can draw, we can put shapes, put text, we can change the brightness and the contrast or do some auto editing uh, or cropping. The watermark tab brings in all of our metadata as we've selected and displays it either on or in the header and footer of the photograph. Also allows us to change uh, font color so we can see it if we do put it on the photograph for a darker photograph. The output settings give us the specifics about our photos, our title page for our reports, the over overview map and background maps, what information will be displayed in the attribute table in the reports, as well as renaming the photos. Once we've selected these in our templates, they'll be saved and we don't have to reselect every time unless we do have a change. And same goes for our output. So here I'm going to show that our all of our information is going to be processed into a condensed Word and PDF report and the data files I selected are the Google Earth KML and KMZ. So once all that is selected we hit create, out, create output and GeoJap Plus is going to process the information and produce our report files and data files. Once complete, I'll hit close, and we then go back into our project manager, and here is the project we just created. We'll expand that, and we can see the list of outputs that we just created. And here is the view, the condensed PDF document that shows our overview map, our title, and then our photos with the detail map and the attribute data that we selected to have displayed. The Word document is similar. The Google Earth KML will bring us into Google Earth and fly us into our photos locations. And here we can select one of our photos and we can see the thumbnail. We can go to the original photo or the watermark photo but it also displays all of the attribute information right on the screen.
And that concludes our GeoJot overview. Additional training videos are available by clicking the training videos button. And there you'll find numerous training videos which go into greater depth, walking through each capability within GeoJot Plus Core. Thank you.